The Vodafone Big Top 40. Officially the UK's number one chart. Hello everyone and welcome to the Vodafone Big Top 40 web chat with Connor Maynard. Yes. You can clap yourself if you like. Oh yes. So I'm we've got so lots of questions in from you. Everyone's been sending them all week from bigtop40.com from your okay. fans, your maniacs. Did okay. you did you call them that or have they called themselves that? Um, oh, it's funny actually because one of them came up with a name. On what, just Twitter, one of them? One of them. I mean, I had like a little thing going and I, I, read, I remember reading it. I was like, that's kind of cool. And I think a few days later it clicked. I was like, you know, that's the name. But I couldn't remember who said it. Oh. So I like I announced it saying, I'm really sorry, but I don't know who said it. And then someone was like, it was me. I can't believe you stole my idea. So eventually I was like, oh, okay. I bet everyone go. said that though, yeah, didn't they? It was me that yeah, said that. Yeah, it was that. me. I said, All right, well, we've got some questions. Uh, Shah is a maniac, has sent in, do you have any random rituals you do before you perform? Random rituals? Oh, I am, um, well, not. I suppose one of the things I do do all the time is just walk. Are you walking Everywhere. around Everywhere, I pace, I pace and pace around the room. Do you talk until, to like, people before you go on? Um, I, I, don't, I, don't, I suppose if, it depends how nervous I am. I think when it's kind of, I'm going out in front of like all the maniacs and know they're there, like, I, I'm really excited to go on, but I think sometimes when it's a bit like, oh, you know, you don't really know what to expect. Yeah. Like, What's well, the not... most nervous you've been? Which, 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 um, which gig? I did, I did do um, a show in Birmingham recently. Yeah, it was called The Big Gig. It was, front, it was in front of 13,000 people. It was in an arena. So that was... Kind of crazy. And could you see but, faces um, at the front as well? You could see people? Yeah, I could see. I could, it was weird, actually, because I was really nervous. And I was like, oh, no, they're not going to. And then just before I went on, I could hear them going, oh, no. God, I was like, oh, yes, I just ran on. It's like, me. It wasn't even my turn to go on yet. I just ran on. Uh, Lucia Hendricks says, will you marry me? Remember, you can't say no. Ooh. Then I suppose the answer is yes. <laughs> I won't worry. But the problem is I've said yes to about five, the last five people that asked me that. So <laughs> I don't know how far I'm going to go before I get in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Abby Cave says, what's your favourite cover you've ever done? My favourite cover? Um, I think uh, my favourite place to be, uh, I did a cover of uh, Mother Lover, which is by Justin Timberlake and The Lonely Island. And um, we did it for Mother's Day. And um, Oh, you smoothie. It's, def- it's definitely um, one to watch. <laughs> Maybe Mother's not with your mum, but I definitely one to watch. No, so, yeah. no, the mothers will love it. Uh, Beth Maynard says, uh, who was your idol when you were growing up? My idol when I was growing up? Um... I think I had probably two main ones. Um, when I was when I was much younger, I used to my parents used to listen to people like uh, Michael Jackson and uh, Stevie Wonder. So um, I think growing up, they were probably kind of my biggest idols. And uh, and um, as I kind of got a bit older and I started listening to my own kind of thing, it was out of the time. I suppose people like Usher, Neo, uh, Justin Timberlake, people like that. So uh, when you're writing songs, do you listen to those guys for inspiration, or do you try not to listen to anything for those um, guys too much influence? Well, right now, I mean, I listen, I listen to a lot of Drake. I feel like he's a very kind of in, uh, talented he's writer. He's a fan of yours especially. too, I've heard too. Oh, well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, I, I, remember, I remember I heard about uh, the whole, uh, you know, leaving the message thing. So that was... It's pretty that was, cool, That was it? crazy, yeah. yeah. I, I cried. Uh, I am a maniac. You cried? <laughs> yeah, myself to sleep. Oh, <laughs> the girls are going to love that. I am a maniac says, are you getting used to being recognised or does it still freak you out a bit? Um, I suppose uh, I suppose it's like under what kind of circumstances. I think sometimes when they're like... Oh, you can rain on like this really nice house for a picture. I think sometimes when they walk past you and you kind of clocked it, like okay, they obviously kind of knew. You they know don't say me. Anything. <laughs> they don't know anything. Yeah, they're like, do you not know me? Does no one know me? No. And then they walk past, and then but they wait until they're on the other side of the road, and then they just go, Connor, <laughs> and then you turn around and you just see like a charge of them run towards you. That's oh, really? a bit more kind of. Is scary. it scary? That's a bit more scary. Do you run or do you just stand still? Especially when it's my mum. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's a bit weirder. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, I think I just kind of stand there, like please don't hurt me, please don't hurt me, please don't hurt me. But, do you remember yeah. the first time it happened? Um, the first time it ever happened. Was it like an well, overnight I mean, thing? You were like, no one recognised you and then the next day? No, everyone... well, I mean, it kind of, it built ever since the whole YouTube covers, really. Okay. So it used to happen in Brighton quite a lot because a lot of people kind of knew me for the as the one that kind of got all these hits on YouTube. So a lot of people started very Local early on, like way before, way before I kind of did all uh, Can't Say No and everything. So <laughs> uh, Jordan says, what's your favourite chat up line and what ones do you use? My favourite chat up line? My, fa- my favourite chat up line? Come on, Connor, use one um, of your lines on me. Let's see if it works. Um... Well, okay, if I said to you, did I hurt when you fell from heaven? Would you laugh at me? Because then I'd turn it back on you and go, because it looks like you landed on your face and then <gasps> run off. See, that's my plan. Double bluff. Double <laughs> exactly. bluff and then hope that so they run got, off you. Got, you got, you got a full back if, if they reject you, which yeah, well, happens that's a lot. A good, one. Well done. Uh, good luck with that one, Connor. <laughs> uh, Paula and Kayla want to know what's the best present a maniac has ever bought you? Best present a maniac has ever bought me? Um... I really like the ones where it's kind of like they've made it themselves. I think that's really cool. I think when they're like, they've really put the time in to kind of either make like a scrapbook or... Um, do you keep them all? Where do you, where do you put them? They're, yeah, they're all, they're all in my, um, they're my house. Um, I kind of... Do you have a spare room? 
Yeah, no, no. Dedicated like, to all the presents. Yeah. It's a me room. It's called a bin. No, I'm joking. No, <gasps> Cut um, up. no I'm joking. Take I keep that back. Yeah, no, no, of course. Um, no, I keep them like all in like um, just. I suppose I lay them out. Actually, it's kind of sad, really. Do you? Well, you <laughs> I lay, just lay them, them out, out like, and look at nicely. Them. Like, oh, this is really cool. I think I know. I find it amazing when they've really put in the time to kind of. Make something so the new. personal ones you like yeah, the most. Yeah, I really like those Okay. Ones. Forever Maynard says, blondes or brunettes? Oh. Be careful. <laughs> blondes or brunettes? Um, <laughs> um, Redheads? You can yeah, that gingers. <laughs> um, blondes or brunettes? Oh, I haven't got a preference. I can't, I'm not going to answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> Wimp. Um, Emma Maynard says, would you rather cut your foot off or give up using the internet? Oh, wow. I know, these are tough, right? I suppose... I could hop everywhere you could hop. If, I, if need be. <laughs> you still got your hands to use the yeah, internet, Yeah, no, exactly. Woo! Uh, oh, Jessica yeah. Philby says, do you enjoy all of the attention that you get from the ladies? Um, well, girls, 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 I should say. I know. Say no, They're so. not the most romantic <laughs> lyrics, I'll have to say to you. Are you quite a romantic, Connor? Um, I was quite romantic, I suppose I could... What's the most romantic thing you've ever done? Um, the most romantic thing I've ever done? Um... I remember I was I was with my uh, girlfriend a long a long time with my ex girlfriend kind of when I was probably about sixteen. These single ladies, he just and, threw um, that one in. Yeah, and um, it was her birthday, and I took her up to London to kind of see um, her favourite show that was on, and I surprised her with the tickets, and she didn't think she'd be able to go because she thought it was. That is romantic. Out, so I really surprised her. That she's like, oh my god, I love you. What would be yeah. the most romantic thing that a girl could do for you? A girl could do for me. Um, hmm, Tibbet and Nando's. I'd fall for that. Is there anyway. She would be girl? in. <laughs> uh, Yasmin Jade Pluck wants to know what's your favourite way to chill out on a Sunday? How favorite will you be chilling out after this? Or won't you be, actually? Um, favourite way to chill on a Sunday? Um, I suppose it. I don't know if it counts as chilling out, but I used to, like, obviously, recording my covers was kind of if I had, like, a spare moment, I would just go home and just record a new song. Did you lock the door? Did you go and lock the door, put a towel under so no one could hear you? Yeah, 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 no one could hear The masterpiece has been created. No, um, no, yeah, no, well, I mean, I, um, I, I I, I mean, my dad would normally, yeah, tell me to shut up, so I did have to kind of keep it Whispering them. Yeah, whispering the song. (laughs) How about you cover the sound of silence? How about you do that? Okay. Uh, Summer Robertson wants to know, if you could perform with anyone in the world, who would it be? If I could perform? Yeah. Um, I remember watching a uh, Tiny Temper uh, show. I watched his uh, show at the O2 and I thought his shows are just absolutely crazy and I feel like performing alongside him would be, you know, absolutely insane. I feel like it would be, it'd be, it'd be difficult to kind of keep up with the hype that he keeps up by his like <laughs> jumping around. Him. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's taking, you got a Tiny, yeah, you keep going. <laughs> I think I'd be trying to be difficult, but it would be extremely fun. Have definitely. you tweeted him about that? I haven't. No, it's the modern way to do it. things know, these days, isn't it? I Hook know. up a collaboration. On but it's Twitter. always a bit embarrassing when you get rejected. Yeah. And they just don't answer and you're like, oh. Yeah, about that, Connor. Oh. I tweeted you before, but Did we'll you? talk about that later. <laughs> oh, no. uh, Annie Rob says, <laughs> would you ever date a fan? Yeah, I think um, f- for me, you know, I've, if, if there's a kind of a connection there with someone, um, when you meet someone there's a kind of a connection there and things can grow from that, I think whether they're a fan or not, like if they, whether they like my music or they hate me. If they didn't like your music, would you, would you still date them? Yeah, I mean, you know, that's their opinion. And I mean, I've, I've, I mean, I've been with people where we've had different musical, musical interests before. And that's just sometimes the way it is. So. Okay. Danny wants to know, do you have a nickname? And what is it if you do? Um, it's not very good, but people used to call me Con Con. Con Con? And I had to leave schools because I'm not joking them. But it was, um, they used to call me Con Con or Creepy Con. Creepy Con. Yeah. Oh, I wonder where that comes from. Maybe it's those chat up lines. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> um, more uh, from Twitter. Uh, Ashley Jones wants to know what can we expect from your debut album, please. Um, it's definitely a surprise. I think with the with the first with the what, first nothing. album, it's kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> three tracks. Um, <laughs> we've gone in this year. No, um, I feel yeah. I, I, th- I think it's kind of it's, it's a bit different to what people were perhaps expecting from like the covers I've done before. But um, I've definitely kind of tried to um, uh, like cover all the bases I had. I mean, with my my covers are ranged all the way from like you know big upbeat dance tracks such as Only Girl in the World all the way down to you know slow um, piano uh, ballads of like Some love you, you somebody kind of thing like uh, Kings of Leon. So um, I've definitely cr- tried to recreate that um, variety in the album. So I have th- things for the you know the fans of the upbeat stuff, the fans of the the slow stuff, and then you know just the fans. And of how everything. long are the fans waiting for this album? Um, it's set for July okay. at the moment. I mean, obviously things can change because I make. I want to make sure that you know it's one hundred and ten percent for a, for a show. Anyone, but July is 
Writing frantically. Yeah. Is that what's happening? Um, Georgia wants to know what's your favourite British accent? My favourite British accent? Yeah. Like colloquial. Colloquial. Where in Britain? Anywhere? What what accent do you like? Um. Hmm. What was my favorite British accent? Can you do? I find accents? it. I find it quite weird how I feel like Brighton hasn't really got one. No, not really. It's kind of it's kind of sad in the way that we just don't really have one. <laughs> but Brighton's kind of cool, but we don't have one. It's kind of different. We're outside. We're thinking outside the box. Can you do accents? Have, um, I like the Scouser one. Go on, do Scouser. All I can say is one word though. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Calm, calm down, calm down. Well, on that note, like Connor, I should yeah. end it there. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very so, much, Connor Maynard. Thank you very much.